I've never been this dedicated to running. Out of 90 days in this training block, I missed one day. I've seen and felt my body transform into a new machine, and it's time to test that machine. Progress has continued, although I thought it would have stopped where I was a year ago. I never dreamed of running these paces for these distances, and none of it would be possible without the commitment to the process. And that's what I said I would do. Be committed to it. Be about it. Eleven miles easy every other day. Treadmill. Boston Hill emulation. Track visits every week. Workouts that seemed to be impossible came and went. Done and dusted. I struggled through the majority of long runs, but stayed committed. Because I knew that was the only way I had a shot at this goal. Week after week, progress ensued. The heart rate got lower on the easy days, and the speed came. Fifteen mile workouts had me beat. But they got done. kept stacking bricks. The volume took a toll. Between sickness, travel, and work, caught up to me near the end. I had a very underwhelming long run workout, shaking my confidence, leaving me questioning if such a public goal was the best idea. I knew a PR was very achievable, but sub 235 started to feel like a stretch especially on a course like Boston. Peak week came around and ended with the best long run of my life, 22 miles at 6.12 a mile average. Marathon pace felt doable, comfortable even, and the confidence came back. It took so many early mornings, months, even years of training to get to this point. I started running marathons with the hope of qualifying for and running the marathon in this town. It's hard to believe it's here, and it's hard to believe I'm trying to run the distance faster than I ever have. But you see, fast marathon times don't happen by chance. My time goal feels horrifying, and based on everything we know, it's going to be close. But it's not unrealistic, because the work I've done has given me a chance. So all that's left to do is race.